right? After this next match, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I spam time. Battle begin. Uh, let me just crack every joint on my body. Get nice and loose for this match. In my gaming chair. Like a... <sighs> gaming... Thank you, DJ Prime. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, um... So it's Ted plus starters. Ted plus starters. I think here, uh, we can lead off Thievil pretty safely. Here's what we'll do. We'll do Thievil Amoon... Do I want to do Thievil Amoongus? I don't know. There isn't too much of a reason not to lead off Incineroar. Rotom doesn't seem bad either. I'm just concerned about Grassy Glide. I'll lead off Evil Incineroar. Definitely want Ndidi in the back because it's going to be really nice once I manage to get rid of everything. Do I want Amoongus though? I don't think I do. I think I... I can't play you here. If you're wondering why I'm not leading off with Ndidi, it's because I want to bait them to go for Fake Out. And I'll be able to get free Snarls off. LHF. We're good sports here. LHF. They're good sports. Boom Dragapult. That's an amazing lead for me. I can go for foul play into that Dragapult. And as long as it's not Focus Sash or doesn't Dynamax here, I get a KO. And he's probably going to want to go for a fake out into this um, Incineroar slot. Here we're going to go for the foul play into that Dragapult. And we're going to switch in Ndidi. That'll block any fake outs they want to go for. Dragapult might switch out, but at the very least I have Ndidi and Feeble Pressure. And with the Psychic Seed boost, I'll be able to outspeed. It's not a Psychic Seed boost, it's a Burden boost, but we also get the Psychic Seed on top of that. Alright, gotta pay attention here. Get my Psychic Terrain up, get my Psychic Seed boost. Hopefully they didn't Dynamax, because then I get a KO on that thing for free. Battlefield got weird. Oh, I'm shaking. Alright. If anything was going to Dynamax, I'm glad it's probably the Dragapult. But I might have lost my Ndidi. Oh, it's Rillaboom. Okay. Concerning. Concerning. But I also knock out that Dragapult right now, which is nice. Don't be Sash. Okay, we don't knock it out. It's got some bulk on it. It's the max knuckle. Ooh, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. I will give them that. Um, I think here. Dragapult at plus one probably outspeeds me. Yeah, 
Gotta do some math. He outspeeds me. I'm just gonna do this though. Let's go for it. Why not? <laughs> or actually, if he has some bulk, he might not. He doesn't. Okay. I might be able to get a lot of damage off here. If he goes to the dragon darts. I can take that. I'm gonna knock out this um, evil, and I'm gonna get. I'm going to knock out this Dragapult as long as I don't get crit on my Ndidi. Okay, that KO'd. Are you Life Orb? He is. Ah! <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. But Incineroar Terrakion isn't bad now. I might need a Dynamax Incineroar. Oh my god. So what we learned is we should have foul played and also we outspeed it at plus one. So they have they don't have max speed. Which is nice. Actually, um that real boom's at minus one now. I can set up my uh I can set up my terrain. Or my uh my special defense boosting stuff. Do I fake out into this pre Marina? I think I do. I think I fake out pre Marina. I could max Knuckle into this Rillaboom. It's minus two. I'm gonna go for it. It's a minus two Rillaboom. I think I can take it. It's gonna be really tough though. These things have disgustingly strong max moves. Rillaboom's playing Pierce theme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I faked out into Pre Marina. Psychic Terrain is up. Guys. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, well, uh, now we have to play perfect. I should have just Flare Blitzed. I should have 100% just Flare Blitzed into that, um, into that Rillaboom. I'm a moron. No. No. Yeah, that was a really bad misplay. I think that hit relatively okay. The G-Max drum solo, please tell me I eat that. No, yeah, it's a really strong hit. Yeah, unfortunately you guys can't call me out on um, me making stupid plays, because there's a delay. We're gonna forfeit here. Because there isn't much of a way we can win. What I should have done there actually is I should have gone for uh, Flare Blitz into the Rillaboom and Max Rock followed into Pre Marina because I would have gotten a special defense boost. And I also forgot that Rillaboom Max Knuckle turn one. I completely forgot about that. This is what I mean. This is uh this is tournament fatigue. You get tired and you start playing sloppy. Let's think how we adjust here. All right, Terrakion and D. think. Dragapult setting up was a little bit annoying. I don't know if they're going to lead off the same way, though. 
And I think I actually should probably bring a Moongus, because it's a really nice asset. For redirection. You know what, let's lead off in Didi and Feeble here. I'm gonna bring a Moongus. I'm going to do what I did uh, that first game, where I just lead off with some jank stuff and hope for the best. I'm, I'm leading with jank, hoping they make an adjustment and they don't call it right because of that. Why think when you can jank? DJ Prime just mentioned, what if his U-turn weakness policy on the uh, for Rillaboom, like U-turn Dragapult? Uh, however, I think we can we can remove that from we can remove that from the possibilities because the Dragapult revealed Dragon Dance, and they usually don't run Dragon Dance U-turn. Boom Dragapult, that's fine. I can still play this right. I know it can't redirect Rillaboom, however, it does take the hit really well. And it's able to redirect the hit from uh, Dragapult. The Grassy Surge, that's fine. I'm assuming, if anything, um,. They're more concerned about Indeedee here. I'm gonna go for this. We're gonna do this. We're going for a turn one. I don't think they're gonna target Indeedee. It's not a threat without the Psychic Surge. And there's no way Rillaboom takes plus four from this uh, from this Terrakion. I can remove the possibility of Grassy Glide as well. What I'm hoping for is that they don't just fake out into the that'd be the worst case scenario. The Dynamax, they're not gonna fake out this turn. I'm hoping they just target into Thievul, if anything. If they target into Thievul, I'm not in a bad spot. Because I get in my, um, my Ndidi. Maybe if I'm lucky, they went for a dark move into the slot, and I get plus five. Oro Slim, hold your tongue right there, because I might have lost already. <laughs> I might have lost already, but thank you so much for saying you love the channel. I really appreciate that. Come on, baby. Target into the Thievul. Dragon Dances, that's fine. Target into Thievul. Target into Thievul. That's what we need right now. Don't concern yourself with Ndidi with no terrain. Come on, feeble, feeble. No, <laughs> no, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. All right.
I'll just foul play. Spanning force. Yeah, I think I lost this one. I was really hoping they would just prioritize Thievel. Well, Dragapult never got minus one attack. It was clear body. But we do outspeed and KO it. Foul play, this will KO as long as he's not Sash, but I doubled, I doubled into it just in case. Watch me win with, like, Dynamax and Moongus. That is such a powerful move. Well, we're Dynamaxing a Moongus, and we're going for Max Ooze. That's something. That's something. Do they have an Arcanine? I might need to Snarl. Free Marina. If they didn't bring Arcanine, I might be able to win. Let me do this. Big Tears Max Ooze should do it. A very specially defensive. If there's a Togekiss in the back, plus one Max Ooze. Might do it. It might do it. It's going to be real close. Maybe they have Psychic in the Pre-Marina too. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we reached that point of the battle where we Dynamax an Amoongus. Did I candy this Amoongus? I really hope I did. I really hope I candied it. Okay, we're good. That's a lot of HP. Ladies and gentlemen, the offensive Amoongus. Dazzling Gleam is going to be doing Zilch. I'm kind of hoping he targets into Amoongus with the Rillaboom. Max Knuckle. That's fine. We're going to be KOing Rillaboom. If there's a Togekiss in the back, we have a chance. We legitimately have a chance if there's a Togekiss in the back. If there's an Arcanine, we lose. Or maybe. Maybe we lose. Alright, we KO. Please tell me there's a Togus in the back. Because I have the berry. I can live the hit and I can get two of these off. Togekiss. 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 You had no reason to bring Arcanine. I didn't bring anything that Arcanine wanted to deal with. The first game. Togekiss. Okay. Excadrill. That's kind of doable. We can go for Grassy Surge. Axe Overgrowth. We want to get it down to pre Marina versus Amoongus, because we can win that. I think this is so this is such an intense one. Because it's literally just a war of living hits. High horsepower. That does a lot, but we're gonna get some recovery here. Hyper voice. Doesn't do as much. Max Overgrowth. I think plus one Giga Drain in terrain will allow me to win this game. Bro, I think we win. No way. No way. That might KO. If we did that much without the terrain, we might KO in the terrain. Max Overgrowth. Do they protect, though? They might protect. In which case, I need to target the Prima Arena. I think they have no business protecting. Let's do it. Don't protect. Don't protect. There's the higher spot. We, we win? There's no way we just won that. There's no way we just won that match.
bro. Might have won. We're gonna lose some HP here. Or we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be small again, but we might have managed to dig that one out. We might have managed to dig that one out of nowhere. Is that like Specs Pre Marina? You get good drain here. It doesn't KO us. Unless it's been hiding psychic this whole time. That might have KO'd. I'm, ma I'm like nearly max special defense, but I think if anything would have KO'd, it was that. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna spore here. We're gonna spore here. We're taking no chances. Actually, no. If they Hydro Cannon, they'll lose. But still, spore is my smarter play. Unless there's safety goggles, in which case, oh my god. Hydro Cannon. Oh, that... How much were we at? That might have not KO'd. I don't know. That I might, Maybe it did. It was close. I'm not certain. Alright, we win. Giga Drain, Giga Drain, Giga Drain, Giga Drain. <laughs> I didn't PP max my Giga Drain, so that's, that's kind of tough. Yeah, we win. Oh my god, that was a match. We literally had to Dynamax the Amoongus. <laughs> oh. I'm sweating. I feel like a, a large man who just ate 15 tacos. That's how much I'm like sweating. Alright. Managed to pull that one. Who Dynamax is a Moongus? <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, leave a like for Dynamax and Moongus. Leave a like for the Dynamax and Moongus. Oh, I live? Okay, cool. That was close. Alright. One more game. That Rillaboom is an issue. It is an issue. I don't like it. I really don't. How do we deal with it? I think we have to lead off with Incineroar. Every time. Amoongus is so good for this matchup, but... Uh, don't. Do I drop Thievil for Incineroar? I think Thievil's too good for the Dragapult lead. Do I bring Terrakion or do I bring Incineroar? I think I bring Terrakion again. Okay. Same lead, I assume. Yeah, that lead's good. That's a good lead. 
as a scary lead. Oh, I don't like it. So Amoongus does really well versus him. We learned that in the last match. Um, I think what I'll do here is I'll just play it how I've been playing it this whole time. Go for the foul play on that Dragapult. I'll switch in the Amoongus. Ignore the follow notification. That's for Twitch. People are following me on Twitch right now. He knows for a fact he can't leave that slot alone, because if Terrakion comes in, he loses. Come on, drum solo into the Amoongus slot. You know you wanna. Oh, that was close. That was close. There's the dragon darts. That's not going to pick up the KO. But it does a lot to him. This which is kind of annoying. Oh my god. That's really good for us. That's really good. The drum solo into the Amoongus. Does a lot, but not enough. Not enough. I think I always go for fake tears into this, um, into this stupid monkey. The stinky monkey slot. Your stinky monkey of wisdom. Die. The Togekiss. That's a little bit annoying. Um, however, I do have the Flying Berry, so I can take a hit. I'm gonna put the Togekiss to sleep and hope it's not safety goggles. I'm going to attempt to fake tears into the Rillaboom. Because I can live whatever from the um, Rillaboom. Where do I switch on to Terrakion as a sack? I'm going to switch out into Terrakion for some Regenerator, I think. Actually, no, that's not worth it. I'll do what I originally intended to do. He doesn't follow me, which is nice, because now my... Oh, come on, don't flinch. Don't flinch for me. Do me a favor, don't flinch. We haven't revealed this berry yet. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Don't you dare flinch. There's the Max Knuckle. It's going to be going into the boy. It's going to be KOing. Don't you dare flinch, Amoongus. Tell me that's like Scope Lens Togekiss and not Serene Grace. I hate you, man. I really hate you, Amoongus. So here I max guard, and I let Amoongus go down to the air slash. Because then Indeedee comes in and kind of does a lot. Then I max max guard. I once again attempt to put that thing to sleep. But it doesn't matter if I don't. Judging by the way that that, um, that that Rillaboom took the Max Ooze last turn, I'm going to go on a limb and say that... Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> it worked! It has safety goggles. Okay. Well, that sucks. <sighs> okay. Um, we have to max Knuckle, or we have to max Rockfall into the, um, okay, kiss slot now. And we switch in our Ndidi on the other one. Get some Regenerator going. Yeah, safety goggles. I wish I learned that last turn. So this is going to do a lot of damage still, but at the very least, if he tries to go for a grass type move, he can't avoid getting KO'd by a psychic, or by my psychic move next turn. I get some regenerator. He didn't switch out, so that's good. If he's running safety goggles, um, probably going to get KO'd by this. Please KO, because that means I can get rid of the Rillaboom. Yes! Rillaboom, do not make a read. <laughs> Tell me you didn't make a read and target into the NDD slot, because I'm in a winning position now. There's no way Rillaboom knocks me out. And you, and you can't set up a grassy terrain anymore. There's the grassy glide. That does so much. That does so much, dude. Are you like muscle band or he's probably miracle seed. I'm gonna say he's miracle seed. That's my that's what I'm gonna call that. It's miracle seed. My nails. My nails are getting chewed off. Excadrill. Oh no. Was it Mold Breaker? I think it was Mold Breaker. It is. Okay. That's good. Because I outspeed it. So I max Knuckle into the Excadrill slot. And I go for my Expanding Force. The Rillaboom. Don't have Protect on Rillaboom. Tell me you don't have Protect on Rillaboom. Expanding Force and the Max Knuckle will KO this Excadrill. And then I think I just beat Rillaboom with Amoonga. So I think I, I don't have a way of losing here. Unless it's Scarf Excadrill. There's the Rillaboom using Protect. Don't be Scarf Excadrill. Don't be Scarf Excadrill. Don't be Scarf Excadrill. Yes! Oh! I am... I'm high on life right now, guys. <laughs> I am high on life right now. Let's see if he's upset, man. Now, here's the thing. Had he not... I think the missing the air slash and the air slash flinch kind of kind of even out. Go for this expanding force, KO the Rillaboom. Ugh. Dude, Ndidi. By the way, this Ndidi's nicknamed Joe Bomba. Joe Bomba. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Joe Bomba. Guys, can I get a thank you, Joe Bomba, in the chat? <laughs> I love Joe Bomba. Hey. <laughs> that was the most intense match. That was the most intense match. Yes, I will see that lead card. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta make a cup of coffee. I gotta make a cup of coffee, man. After that, after what we just went through, after after that whole set where we had to Dynamax the Amoon. <laughs> we had to Dynamax Amoongus to win that set. Oh. Oh. I hate Rillaboom now.